All right, guys, how's it going? Just recorded this whole thing, but I messed it up and didn't record it on this. This recording? Good, it better be recording. All right, guys, so today we're going to be going over FL image line, or no, image lines remote. I'd say Fruity Loops, but it's used for other things as well. So we're going to go over image line remote on how to connect it and use it with your computer or interface. Now, image line remote's pretty straight because you can use it for a few different uh, applications. Say you're in the other room and you need to record your vocals in your closet because you don't want the sound of your computer. Or say you set up your booth in the other room and you have a desktop and you don't want that noise in your recording booth. You can just connect to FL Studios remote and then you can enable recording from there. It just in the in the booth rather than having to keep run back and forth and timing everything up so another nice thing is if you're you know just really want to you can use fpc you know they got things like that's cool and it's got its piano as well and it's got its main thing which is what i like to use and you can design your own layouts but now that you know guys know what you can do with it let's go into how to actually connect this bad boy because it's likely if you're watching this video that either you're a subscriber and thank you for coming back and watching, or you're having issues connecting your image line remote to your system. So, first things first, when using image line remote, you need to make sure that your tablet or phone are on the same Wi Fi connection. So, make sure that these are on the same Wi Fi connection. Once that they're on the same Wi Fi connection, go download the app. You can get it on iOS or Google Play. Now, when you open up image line remote at first just go to fl studio connect now you might notice that this may not be green yet in fact if it's orange then that means it's trying to find what to connect it's trying to find uh fruity loops or a software to connect to so to do this you need to pull up your daw which we have pulled up here you need to go to options and you need to go to midi settings and you need to go down here enable image line remote you need to make sure that's highlighted if that's not highlighted then your uh, tablet or device is not going to be able to connect. So make sure that's lit green. Now that you have that done, you can close it. Now it may still not be connecting. If that's the case, it means you need to allow it through your firewall. Now if you have Windows, then you either need to go to control panel or firewall settings. They're both accessed the same way. So, you know, you could type in either of those. I'm just going to go to control panel because people know how to get to that. You go to your Windows Defender firewall right here, and you're going to click on Allow an App Feature Through Windows Defender, okay? Now you need to go to Change Settings. It's going to ask you for administrative privileges. That's fine. Allow it. Now you need to go to Allow Another App. Now when you're in here, browse for it. Your FL Studios 12 is most likely in your program, is, it is going to be in your C drive, and it'll either be in your program files or your program files 86. Mine's in my 86. So I go in here and I go to image line and I would go to FL Studios 12 and I would click, I would, if I was you, I would put all, allow all of these through. So boom, there you go. You browse, you do your other ones. And now you'll see that if it's separate at all, it'll just add it to that. Now, once you have those on, click add. Now you'll notice FL Studios is already in the list of exceptions for mine because I already did this. So, you know, yours will be okay. You'll go now down to here and find your FL Studios. And you'll want to make sure that your private and your public are both checked that way because I don't know what your home group settings are. So just make sure that private and public are both checked. All right. And then you'll click OK. Now you may see it connecting. You may not. If it's still not connecting, that means you have another security program that's stopping it from connecting. I had this problem, mine was Avast. So I went into my Avast. Now, with every antivirus, you should be able to find where the exceptions list is. So go into your, if you have Avast, it's settings, and it's just down here under exclusions. If you have AVG, I know they have a similar format, um, Norton, etc. So you'll go find your exceptions and you'll click add. You'll notice I already did, I already found image line and did that again. So you know, you'll go to browse, find whatever it is, and you'll add it, all right? Now, once you do this, you click OK, and now image line, if you've given it enough exclusions through all your security, you should see this starting to connect. All right. 
If you haven't gotten it to connect yet, try closing FL Studios, restarting your computer, and then enabling it again with all these options. This should fix your issue. I'm assuming that's why you're here if you haven't seen the, um, if you're watching this video still. Um, a tip or a secret that I don't think works anymore, but it may, uh, this is from Justin Amoe. He said if you disable like just your antivirus for a quick second and then put FL image line up and then let it connect, then you can re-enable your uh, antivirus and it should stay connected. Um, the only reason I don't recommend this is because it didn't work for me. Also, I don't recommend ever taking your antiviruses off. I also uh, don't recommend doing it because software is getting updated all the time on your computer, on here, everywhere. So it would be kind of a last ditch effort to try and do that. You should go about the correct uh, tunnels to allowing this to happen. Uh, and then hopefully you can have this happen. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll even show you, check this out. Like if you want to record, look at this. I don't even have to touch my studio. I can have be in the other room and this will record for my mic. Ay, 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 we got image line working, okay? Yeah. Test, test, one, two. Ay, 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 we got image line working, okay? Yeah. See? It's awesome. And if I had this microphone in a better set spot, like I do my XLR mic, I won't be picking up on a lot of these background noises, like the air conditioning and stuff. You also can, yeah, exactly. It's just you don't want your laptop in there making a noise unless you got a Mac. And then I don't think it makes any noises. Or if you got a desktop or whatever. You know, there's also other ways to fix this, like getting a wired wireless or wired keyboard and mouse in there. You can mess around with as well. And then a monitor fed in. Uh, other than that, I mean, I'm hoping this answered all your questions today, guys, involving and showing you, you know, how useful this can be. Um, maybe I'll do a video next on FL Studios Mobile. Been making a beat at work with that. Trying to do a video, see how, uh, see how it works, show you guys what's up. Uh, make sure to uh, hit the like button. This helped, helped out or and share it. Though, uh, this isn't really like an exciting video. It's just a technical video. Um, also, target the subscribe button and uh, murder the bell notification, guys. Check it out. We almost got a thousand subscribers. We're gonna have a few specials coming up. You'll already notice them in the description here. And uh, that I'm putting up Patreon, and uh, I started a private spot for people who want to get just one-on-one -on -one time. You know, they can go through my Converse site, and then we can do that. But other than that, just check out the normal stuff, guys. Music, beats. I uh, got a new album coming out at the end of this week. I'm gonna put a three, few three videos out on Friday for. And I hope you guys uh, found this useful today. So please drop by again, check out our stuff. And uh, this has been Professor. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Peace.